All right, in this video, we are going to cover setting up a Zap for uh, the payment into ClickUp. So this is connecting when we get paid and then pushing that payment info into ClickUp just to have it organized uh, in one of our folders. All right, so let me go over to Zapier. And this is one that I already have. And the trigger doesn't have to be better proposals. That's just what we use. You could use whatever your payment gateway is. If you are paying directly through uh, Stripe, you can use Stripe as the trigger. And the same principles apply in terms of how to set this up. If you're using another kind of cart, whatever it may be, even PayPal, you can configure it the same way. Uh, we just happen to be using better proposals. Uh, it streamlines the process very nicely. Uh, so let me just kind of go through the steps here. Um, and you can apply this for whatever your payment trigger is going to be. All right, so we have selected better proposals and the trigger is a proposal paid. Okay, that's what we're concerned about here. Uh, you'll select the account and in order to do that, it'll ask you to just enter your API key. That's very straightforward. All right, and then we're going to find the data. Uh, I pulled in some already. I'm just gonna, you know, I can show you what it pulled in. Hold in one of our clients here and close that out, done editing. And then the action is ClickUp. So you'll select ClickUp as the app and then we're going to create a task. This is the action event. Choose your account and then we're going to customize the task. So select the name of your team, whatever that may be, the space that you're working with. In our case, it's Chimera Media, Client Management, the project is going to go under sales orders. So let's go over to ClickUp real quick. And I'm going to collapse this. So sales orders is the main folder where all of our payments go through. Um, so this is where we're looking right now. If I expand it, we can see we've got client payments and client onboarding form. All right, so let me go back over to this. All right, so the project is sales orders, which is the name of this folder right here, okay? The list is client payments, all right, which is this one right here, okay? And the task name, this is what it's going to be called when it's created, in this case, the uh, company's Kill Mold. Um, so when this is created, that will be the name of the list that'll go right here, and I'll show you that as we do this. And then inside of the, the task, we're going to have the, the person who signed the proposal, who paid her name uh, in this case, right? And then we have the date they paid and also the amount they paid, all right? I'm not going to fill out any of this other stuff. It's not important. Um, and then let's go to send the data and I'll just send a test and continue. And this is what's going to create this task and you can see it just created it now. If I open it up, we have the name, we have the date that it was uh, paid and signed and then the amount that they paid, right? So that just keeps us nice and organized inside of ClickUp and now we have the client payment stored where we wanted it to be. All right, so once you're done and happy with that, you can activate your Zap. There's two ways, there's a toggle up here in the top right and there's also one down here in the bottom. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Okay, so that's it. And going forward, anyone else who uh, hits your trigger here for actually making a payment will automatically get pushed into your ClickUp task and then you'll, you'll see it here and you'll know which of your clients have paid and then you can push them on to the next step. Uh, after payment, they'll, uh, they'll automatically get pushed into the onboarding form if you follow uh, what we're teaching. Uh, you can also send them the onboarding form directly uh, via email or whatever it may be. Uh, and then once they do that, uh, they'll get pushed into here. So you'll see that in, uh, in one of my next videos uh, related to onboarding. Uh, but that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.